Welcome back. We're playing Xenoblade. Still. For the moment. Well, you are. <laughs> uh, so, I'm just going to run through Chapter 4 here. Um, and we're probably gonna call it quits after chapter four. Yeah, I'm losing interest. So, I mean, we might come back to this someday. I don't want to say that's for sure. But, um... Maybe if I get into it again. Yeah. So, if, if he feels like it, we can play it again. But, for the moment, we're just gonna call it quits after chapter four, because that's a better ending point than stopping after I installed a bunch of probes. Well, uh, I mean, it's... I think we went over it before. I'm not... Too big on RPGs. Oops, I need live. And uh, so this is still an RPG. It's just it's just not calling to me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like I'd say this to anyone who's interested in playing this game, is that the part of for it that, to me, anyways, that's uh, most interesting is the exploration and the adventure. Which isn't good quality filming. Yeah, stuff. and it, it's why I think you'd enjoy it. But like, yeah, it doesn't make the best TV. For like an episodic type thing like this, um, which is why I was hoping to mostly stick to the story like we're doing now. Did but, you say uh, you went a, you went ahead and there's actually quite a bit of just exploring before you can even do story. Yeah. So you'll notice here uh, when I start <laughs> up, it says you have to survey 15% of Primordia. Like we spent the last three episodes surveying 15% of Primordia. Yeah. I actually did a little bit of it off camera between episodes just to make sure. Uh, you also had to do a couple side quests there. Okay. And I mean, those are good side quests, but, um... Not really fun to watch. Yeah, it's not really, like, it's not riveting. It's good to play, not fun to watch. Yeah, it's, the game's a lot of fun, if you can sit down and get into it. Because you can just easily just get in and just pick something you want to do and go do it. Turn up, man! So we have a Wait, choice uh, here. Oh, we do, we have a lot of choices. We have a choice, we can get fried chicken, we can get beef braised in wine... Pot pie, tandoori chicken, chicken saute. A lot of chicken. And foie gras. Foie gras, I believe. Foie gras? Foie. Foie gras? Yeah, foie. Let's do foie. You want foie? I want foie. Man, when I was doing this on my file, I went fried chicken, and I was like, uh, tandoori chicken, and chicken saute, and I was like, oh man, I'm out of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there's nothing with, uh, what was it, potatoes or turnips? Yeah. Was it turnip? Well, really? yeah. These are all fun because they all have their Wah -wah. own. They all have their own like specific little cutscene to them. Oh, they do. Yep. They're all different. Yep. At least a little bit. And you get to choose one before each chapter. Oh, cool. Lindley. I guess that's her nickname or his nickname for her. I thought Fuagua was. Okay. Yeah. Fua. Fua. Need to cut you up. Need you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Foie gras was like goose liver or something like that. Yeah, the, basically every one of those little food choices you get, you get a short little cutscene where she says, I'm gonna cook you! And he's like, no! <laughs> and then she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know... So it's sort of fun. In all reality, face. that little, uh, uh, Tatsu... Uh-huh. Kind of a comic relief. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm, he sounds so helpful, but he's just so easy to poke fun at. Yeah. Like, he's like, can I please help you? Let me help you in any way. Oh, yeah, uh, no, yeah you look tasty. He's, ah! he's, he's very friendly, but he's also kind of dumb and, like, I don't know. Like, yeah, he's kind of a fun character in some respects. <laughs> he's always dancing. Yeah. You know what that reminds me of? Did you see that Futurama episode? Uh, I'm where, not sure. where, where Bender gets, like, reborn, kind of, or remade, and he has that all that, that um, energy built up inside of him. And he has, he's like, park coma, uh -huh. and he's like, woo, yeah, whatever. He's like all dancing around. Sure. <laughs> yeah, woo, it is back, as if I care. <laughs> <laughs> I love Futurama. It's so good. Oh! Oh, right, we're going to another continent now. Okay, well, um, just as, uh, 
topics for talking. Mm-hmm. We just saw Star Wars. We did just see Star Wars. We're not going to do any spoilers, but I figure I might do something that came up in my mind when I was watching the movie. Mm-hmm. So, when you become a Jedi, I am not super big on Star Wars. I don't know so much of the lore, but I know, I know a, little, a little bit. I know a little bit, too. I probably more know more than you do, so, so we'll see if maybe I can answer your question. If you turn into a Jedi, you have to make it like some sort of pilgrimage or something, right? To make your own lightsaber? Um... I don't know if it's like a pilgrimage. You have to go to some, but, yeah, some it's, area. It's, it's sort of part of the training thing. It's just like, it's 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 a um, rite of passage in a way. Yeah. Right? But I remember there was like some planet or something that had the certain crystals that you need. Ilum. So you had to go there to create your own lightsaber, and it's that's why it's always unique to mm -hmm. your character, your your Jedi or whatever. Yes. But then I thought... It's almost like Harry Potter where you, you choose your wand. Yeah. It calls to you. <laughs> yeah. But with these lightsabers... They're these basically lasers mm -hmm. that can almost cut through anything, right? Mm -hmm. Just about. Just about. I mean, there's a few things in the in the movies and what, sure. like lore that it can't cut through this or yeah. or so and so's armor can't be cut by like whatever. Yeah, there are a few materials the in in the the Star Wars galaxy lore that yeah, yeah resist lightsabers. But the majority of things. Yeah, most things are pretty much cut. Why have they not incorporated that into military usage? Uh, probably because most people don't fight Jedis. I'm thinking more like... Oh, let me check the map. Yeah, go ahead and check the map. I'll keep going. I'm thinking more like a... Even if you just put a lightsaber on, like, the tip of a missile... Oh, yeah. And, like, Give shoot the missile, power. it'll penetrate everything. Because I was thinking they have to, in, 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 like, Star Wars, they had to go into a certain area of the Death Star, mm -hmm. blow it up. But if they could launch a missile from a planet with a, with a, a couple lightsabers or, like, a big lightsaber <laughs> with, like, a big width yeah. on the tip of the missile... Fire from really far away, it'll penetrate all the way through the Death Star, and then get to the area, and blow it up without having to do nope, any collateral damage. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that it's, mil it's, it's military sort of a funny tactics idea. totally makes sense. Oh, really quick, let's get through this and then we'll uh, get back to Star Wars. Oh, do you get your uh, your mech now? Uh, no, <laughs> unfortunately not. I heard it, you have to wait a long time. It's not really a long time. It's have sort you of, gotten yours? I do have mine. Um, and it sort of has to do with how many chapters you've gone through. I think you only have to get to, like, chapter... I want to say six. If you beat chapter six, you might be able to get your robot. So we're actually not that far off, because this is chapter four. No, okay, maybe I'll get into it later. Um, but yeah, the robots are actually a lot of fun, because, like, they just make you incredibly overpowered. I mean, they do have some drawbacks, but, like, for the most part, I was just like, Woo! Robots! <laughs> and just yeah, you, went around crushing things. You're all big on the robots. Like, I like robots. I'm not big on giant robots, like most mech series like Gundam and stuff. But, but robots in general, I'm pretty cool with. Speaking of Star Wars and voice actress. Yeah. yeah we just watched the, the, the Shin Wars. Oh, yes. The Shin Chan Star Wars spoof. Yeah. I guess it was a little while ago on this show we were talking about Shin Chan. Yeah, this, uh, what's her name? Not Lynn. Yeah, Elma. Elma. She does the voice. Uh, of someone in Shin Chan, uh, yeah. Yeah, of the, the, one of the female teachers in Shin Chan. Now he's an onion? <laughs> Everybody comes up with their own name for him. Everybody wants to eat him, apparently. Well, he kind of reminds me of, like, a dodo. They, like, Look good. I kind of want to taste Toto. Aren't they like extinct or endangered? No, they're completely extinct. They've been extinct for a well, long that's time. That's what I thought. Because they were so delicious. Everybody hunt. They hunted oh, them I to see. extinction. That does make you wonder if they were so yeah. delicious that people wiped them out. You're like, hmm. I wonder what they must have tasted like if they were that. Apparently, good. they were almost like stupid chickens. Yeah. But maybe a lot more delicious. They should have bred them. D domesticated dodos, can you imagine? D you and me are doing a thingy. Alright, so what do you want to do? Uh, I'm polite. Let's. Well, no. If I remember right, like, in 
like medieval stuff, it's it's if they give you your their name first, that's polite. Yeah, usually it's it's a little weird to like say, "So who are you?" Yeah, it's without like, introducing yourself. But it's yeah, up that's, to you. Let's just hesitate. Let's hesitate. Let's hesitate. This is your character, your story, bro. Even though I'm playing, tell me your name first. <laughs> so he doesn't introduce himself. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I still don't know his name. Did they say it earlier? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really been watching the cutscene. I know his name because I'm farther in the game, but... <laughs> I was too busy talking about Shin-Chan and Star Wars. Yep. And lightsaber missiles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sounds so dangerous. Yeah. I was I was joking with uh, my brother at one point um, about like what if you had like a suit of armor right and you uh -huh. just made like the suit of armor out of the light prey saver proof materials uh -huh. except you also put in like a bunch of like like it's like spiked armor right okay except the spikes are lightsabers like mini lightsabers and then you just jump at people and start rolling around on them <laughs> that sounds horrible right Turn people into Swiss cheese. It would be the best. Or, of course, well, a lot of people played the uh, the steamroller as a kid, if, especially if you had siblings that you like to wrestle around with. Mm -hmm. You basically lay on the floor and roll over each other. <laughs> or, or better, better, better example. You see a big hill as a kid. You lay down side and roll down the hill. Uh -huh. Imagine that on a space station in that light super armor suit. <laughs> you just. <laughs> Tilt the ship, then roll, and you like Woo! plow through everything. <laughs> oh look, there's a ship. Let me destroy it. Wait a minute, I'm gonna land on the ground. Wee! Uh, but as far as lightsaber combat goes, oh, this guy just joined us too. I think. Lau. The master sniper is his title. I like sniping. He does use a sniper. So see, if we can look at his funny stats here now. Uh, and there's some text there that I'm not gonna bother reading. Okay. But, you can uh, pause it and read it if you want. So, if we want, we can actually invite him along with us, because he wanted to go. Uh, but we don't have to take him. So what I do like you Snipe. Do? Well, we're all female right now. And I like yeah. playing female characters, but it would be nice to have a sniper. I all like right. snipes. I like, I like long range. I like uh, healer. Mm -hmm. I like magic. And then melee. That's, that's my team. Sure, I mean... Like, the only thing that's weird about this game is that, like, it really doesn't go into those kind of things. Yeah, I know. It's no mage class, and it's no healer class. But yeah, now we have, uh, now we have Lau with us. So if you didn't know his name, his name is Lau. Okay. Back to lightsaber missiles. Um, so I was gonna talk, as far as lightsaber combat stuff goes... Oh, we're actually gonna get another cutscene here in a second, I think. Just introducing you to this new off. region. We're going off, we're not even coming back to the stuff we're talking about. Yeah, well, it does look cool though, right? It does. Um, That's a level 55. Yeah. Like I said in one of the previous episodes, like this game just constantly has giant monsters all over the place. Like down here, these guys are like level 34. God, I'm having farts all day. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's Chang's. Yep. It's coming. Oh, you're no. Gonna, you're going to get it. Oh, you're no. Just, you're going to get it in a minute. Someone, someone help me. Help me, please. Oh, it smells good to please. me. Please, you've got to help me. Isn't that so weird how your own farts, no matter how bad they are, they can kind of smell good? But <laughs> well, then somebody else comes maybe. along and you're like, oh my god, did you die? Um. Oops. Oh, it's level 12. I can take it. There it is. They've actually, like, scientifically proven why your, oh. your farts smell good to you. I'm not sure if I can take this guy. He's pretty big. Giant horn monkey? Knock him over. No, it didn't work. Oh, as we watched uh, Star Wars, the um, the trailer for the, the live action kind of CGI Jungle Book. Uh huh. That looks kind of badass. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> like I actually saw the first Jungle Book on uh, Netflix not so long ago. I thought we watched it together. I don't think so. We, I I got it on Blu-ray not too long ago. We watched it with Trevor. Uh, I don't remember that. I don't no, know. I was, I was pretty sure I watched it on my own on Netflix, and I was like, wow, this is pretty crappy. It's not a good movie. <laughs> oh, this might get a little 
close. Cause yeah, I remember all watching it, and you, you, you saw the the orangutan, and you told Trevor, like, as a quote, "Wow, I can see where you got a lot of." Uh, huh. Okay, maybe I did watch it with you guys. <laughs> all I know is that it wasn't a very good movie. I was like, "Wow, this is like after all the things I'd heard about it, I expected it to actually be like a classic movie." And I can imagine maybe it wouldn't be. Oh, die. Everybody's, that was so everybody's close. dead. Everybody's dead. Oh god, there's everybody's a dead. Why is there a second one? Ah. Oh! Everybody's dead. It's fine. I beat one of them. With 47. No. Now we got me. I tried. Um. I was saying something. Oh, yeah, Jungle Book wasn't good. Anyways, yeah, the new movie looks like it might be kind of interesting because it's sort of. Sort of almost more of an action adventure. Which really dope. Based off. It was really dopey. It was based off like a fairy tale. Uh huh. But for kids. I know. I'm just saying that like I've got problems with both of them. <laughs> Did you ever read any of the old like Rudyard Kipling Jungle Book kind of no. thing? There was one series of books that I really, really don't know why I liked. Mm hmm But it was some African folklore about a spider. Hmm. That like to trick people. Hmm. And it had a whole kind of like series and lore, and but it was called. Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher this, but like a Nazi. Hmm. Like. That does sound kind of familiar. Like a Nazi the spider. Not quite Nazi. No, not Nazi. But, but, but probably spelled like N A T Z I or something. I don't know. It, but no, there was this. This whole like series about how this this spider would trick people or trick animals into doing something and because mm -hmm. it was a like a trickster spider. Yeah. But it was weird. I don't know why I liked it because I hate spiders. Yep. Well, why don't we talk more about that kind of thing next time? No, we never went back to the Jedi stuff. I'll get back to it. Okay. Next People time we'll talk more tomorrow. Jedi's. See you later, everybody.